So one one guy that I've talked to several times is slowly becoming a friend uh, is a guy named Elon Musk. He's a big fan of hardcore history, uh, especially Genghis Khan uh, series of episodes, but really all of it. Him and his uh, his girlfriend Grimes listen to it, which is I, I know Elon. Yeah, you know Elon. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So that's like relationship goals. Uh, like listen to hardcore history on the weekend with your loved one. Okay. Uh, so let me, if I were to look at the guy from a perspective of human history, it feels like he will be a little speck that's remembered. Oh, like absolutely. You, you think about like the people, what will we remember from our time? Who are the people we'll remember, whether it's the the Hitlers or the Einsteins, who, who's going to be? It's hard to predict when you're in it, but it seems like Elon would be one of those people remembered. And if I were to guess what he's remembered for, it's the work he's doing with SpaceX and potentially being the person, now we don't know, but the, being the person who launched a new era of space exploration. If we look you know, centuries from now, if we are successful as human beings surviving long enough to venture out into the, you know, toward the stars. It's weird to ask you this. I don't know what your opinions are, but do you think humans will be a multiplanetary species in the arc, long arc of history? Do you think Elon will be successful in his dream? And he doesn't he doesn't shy away from saying it this way, right? He really wants us to colonize Mars first and then colonize other Earth-like planets in other solar systems throughout the galaxy. Do you have a hope that we humans will venture out towards the stars? So here's the thing. And this actually, again, dovetails to what we were talking about earlier. I actually, first of all, I toured SpaceX. And it is, when you, 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 it's hard to get your mind around because he's doing what it took governments to do before. Yes. Okay. So, so it's incredible that we're watching individual companies and stuff doing this, doing it faster and cheaper. Yeah. Too, well, be. and 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 pushing the envelope, right? Faster than the governments at the time were moving. It's it's it it really is. I mean, there's a lot of people who I I, I think who think Elon is is, is overrated, and mm -hmm. you have no idea, right? When you go see it, you you have no idea. But that's actually not what I'm most impressed with. Um, it's Tesla. I'm most impressed with. Mm. And the reason why is because in my mind, we just talked about what I think is the greatest threat, the environmental stuff. And I talked about our inability, maybe all at the same time to be willing to sacrifice our self-interests in order for the, for the goal. And I don't want to put words in Elon's mouth, so you can, you can talk to him if you want to. But in my mind, what he's done is recognize that problem and instead of building a car that's a piece of crap, but you know it's good for the environment, so you yeah. should drive it, he's trying to create a car that if you're only motivated by your self-interest, you'll mm -hmm. buy it anyway. Yep. And it will help the environment and help us transition away from one of the main causes of damage. I mean, one of the things this pandemic and the shutdown around the world has done is show us how amazingly quickly the earth can actually rejuvenate. We're seeing clear skies in places, species come... and you would have thought it would have taken decades for some of this stuff. So what if, to name just one major pollution source, we didn't have the pollution caused by automobiles, right? And and if if you had said to me, Dan, what do you think the odds of us transitioning away from that were 10 years ago? I would have said, well, people aren't going to do it because it's inefficient. It's this, it's that. Nobody wants to. Blah. But what if you created a vehicle that was superior in every way so that if you were just a self-oriented consumer, you'd buy it because you wanted that car? That's the best way to get around that problem of people not wanting to. You know. I think he's identified that. And as he's told me before, you know, when the last time a car company was created that actually, you know, could blah, 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 he's right. And so I happen to feel that even though he's pushing the envelope on the space thing, I think somebody else would have done that someday. Mm. I'm not sure because of the various things he's mentioned, how difficult it is to start thinking. I'm not sure that the industries that create vehicles for us would have gone where he's going to lead them if he didn't force them there through consumer demand by making a better car that people wanted anyway. They'll follow, they'll copy, they'll do all those things. And yet who was going to do that? Um, so I hope he doesn't hate me for saying this, but I happen to think the Tesla idea, 
may alleviate some of the need to get off this planet because the planet's being destroyed, <laughs> right? And we're going to colonize Mars probably anyway if we live long enough. And I think the Tesla idea, not just Elon's version, but ones that follow from other people, is the best chance of making sure we're around long enough to see Mars colonized. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. And one other thing from my perspective, because I'm now starting a company, I think the interesting thing about Elon is he serves as a beacon of hope, like pragmatically speaking, for people that sort of to push back on our doom conversation from earlier, that a single individual could build something that allows us as self-interested individuals to gather together in a collective way to actually alleviate some of the dangers that face our world. So like it gives me hope as an individual that I could build something that can actually have impact that counteracts the uh, the Stalins and the Hitlers and all the threats that face uh, that human civilization faces, that an individual has that power. I, I didn't believe that the individual has that power in the in the halls of government. Like I don't feel like any one presidential candidate can rise up and help the world, unite the world. It feels like from everything I've seen, in, and you're right with Tesla, it can bring the world together to do good. That's a really powerful mechanism of you know, whatever you say about capitalism, that you can build companies that start, you know, it starts with a single individual. Of course, there's a collective that that grows around that, but the leadership of a single individual, their ideas, their dreams, their vision can catalyze something that takes over the world and does good for the entire world. But if I think, but again, I, I think the genius of the idea is that it doesn't require us to go head to head with human nature, right? right. He, yes. he, he's, he's actually built human nature into the idea by basically saying, I'm not asking you to be uh, an environmental activist. I'm not asking you to sacrifice to make the, I'm gonna sell you a car you're going to like better, and by buying it, you'll help the environment. That takes into account our foibles as a species and actually leverages that to work for the greater good. And that's the sort of thing that does turn off my little doom caster cynicism <laughs> thing a little bit yeah. because you're actually hitting us where we live, right? You're, you're, you're not, you can take somebody who doesn't even believe the environment's a problem, but they want a Tesla. So they're inadvertently helping anyway. I think that's the genius of the idea. Yeah, and I'm telling you, that's one way to make love much more efficient mechanism of change than uh, hate. Making it in your self-interest to it love It makes somebody. your self-interest. Creating a product <laughs> that, uh, that leads to more love than uh, than hate. You're going to want to love your neighbor because you're going to make a fortune. <laughs> exactly. Right? Okay, I get it. There you go. That's why All he right, said. I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> That's why Elon said love is the answer. That's, I think, uh, exactly what he meant. Okay. Let's try something difficult. 